Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Barbs and this is Optus. So welcome back to Optus where we talk about eye care, eye health and other health related conditions. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with a loved one. Thank you. In this video, we're going to talk about a condition that has affected a lot of people and you've probably got it at a point in time in your life and this condition is known as Apollo. So Apollo is actually called the acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. Now it's an epidemic form of conjunctivitis that is highly contagious. So I'm sure you've noticed that when one person has Apollo in your house, within a matter of days, almost everyone else also gets this Apollo. So um, let's go back in time a bit. So in the year 1969, the acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis, also known as Apollo, was declared an epidemic in Accra, Ghana. At that very same period, the Apollo 11 spacecraft was landing on Earth from the moon. The spacecraft was coming from the moon and back to the earth and it's, it was known as the Apollo 11. So it's like there's this eye condition that's everywhere and then there's this spacecraft that came from the moon. So I'm sure as a kid you used to hear or I'm sure you still hear that oh the Apollo eye disease is from the moon, it's from the moon. It's not actually from the moon. It's caused by a viral infection mainly. It's just because the time it was declared as an epidemic coincided with the landing of the Apollo spacecraft from the moon to the earth. So that's that. Now let's look at the presentation of the condition. It usually has a dramatic presentation. Um, it usually starts when you wake up in the morning, your eyes feel um, sticky, like they're stuck together. When you open your eyes, your eyes are red, there is discharge, this sticky thing that's keeping your eyes together. Sometimes it presents with burning sensation. It feels very irritated. And the part I hate most about Apollo, sensitivity to light. Um, with Apollo, you become very sensitive to light. You can't even walk outside when the sun is out. You can't look at light. You are always like this. <laughs> or you have to wear like dark shades so that you don't feel too uncomfortable when you're walking in the light. This phenomenon you experience when you're in light and it feels very uncomfortable and painful is termed photophobia. So today we've learned a new word, photophobia. Yes, so moving on. Um, apart from that, it's very contagious, as I said. It easily spreads from one person to another. So let's say one person has Apollo and they touch their eyes and maybe you go, you greet them or something. You touch your eyes, it gets transmitted from that person to another. That's why it has like a really high transmission rate and it's mainly because of the virus infection. So anything the person touches, like they use a face towel, you end up using that face towel, you also get the Apollo eye condition so it usually runs a short course it doesn't last too long just for a few days for about seven days it's not something that goes too long it's a viral infection so it usually resolves on its own but the problem is it's very uncomfortable during those few days when you do have Apollo please go to an optometrist and let them prescribe some medications or dark goggles to help relieve that discomfort you're experiencing because it ends up making your vision blurred which means you can't really do anything it makes you very sensitive to light in kids it usually presents with a low grade fever and some people also experience a sore throat or a cold how do you even prevent it how do you prevent it from spreading from one person to the other so just like um, other forms of viral infections like the covid and a cold the best way to prevent is is to practice hygiene you have to be washing your hands constantly and sanitizing your hand as i already explained how it's transmitted if you use something that is contaminated by the person or if you touch someone that has the condition probably you could end up getting it right so you have to wash your hands sanitize your hands you should try to avoid sharing personal items with them like your towels your mascara your eyeliners 
and other things like that so when it comes to the treatments it's usually it doesn't actually have a cure so the optometrist will give you medications to deal with your symptoms and maybe prescribe some glasses to help you feel comfortable when you walk through the sun and um to deal with the sensitivity of light you've been experiencing so that's it for the video that's apollo for you and now we know why it was called apollo in the first place and what we can do to prevent it um thank you so much for watching this video new videos will be coming up soon don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share my video thank you so much for watching <laughs>